Hello students how are you all i hope you all are fine and doing good today we will start a new topic the topic is circle and its basic properties okay so here you can see a shape which shape is this is it a square no is it a rectangle no then what shape is it yes it's a circle as you all know circle is a 2d shape and there are many more things that are there in a circle what are those things we will see that at first in the beginning i want to tell you that what is a circle circle is a set of points equidistant from its center circle is a set of point equidistant from its center now you may ask me ma'am what is a center now we will find out what is a center so this one is the center this one center of the circle center of a circle always lies in the middle of the circle there in the middle of the circle there is a point which is called the center of the circle okay as we have learned the definition of a circle that a circle is a set of points equidistant from a center now this is a point this can be a point this is a point this is a point this is a point in this way all the points are set in this way and it and all those are equidistant from the center in this way a circle is formed okay now we will see the other things that are present in the circle so the first thing that is present in the circle we have learnt is center center of a circle which lies in the middle of the circle next thing is radius so what is radius of a circle from the center of the circle if we join a line to the body of the circle like this part this is the body of the circle the body of the circle has an another name what is the name it is called circumference circumference of the circle that is this line that is the body of the circle is called the circumference of the circle so if we join a line from the center to the circumference of a circle it will become a radius in this way you can draw another radius from here to here from here to here from here to here and also from here to here not only that do you know an interesting thing a circle has infinite number of radius that means you can draw infinite number of lines from the center to the circumference of the circle okay you can draw infinite number of lines from the center to the circumference of the circle and the another thing that is present in the circle is the diameter you can say the first thing diameter is the double of radius diameter is the double of radius why because you if you see if we join a line from the center to one side of the circumference then it will become a radius and if we extend the line from the center to the another side it will become a diameter like if we draw a line from the center to the circumference in this way this becomes a radius and now if you will extend the line from this to this the whole thing will become a diameter okay so you can easily see, say that diameter is double of radius right
now we will see the definitions of the following things see here the first thing what is a circle a circle is a set of points equidistant from its center second thing circumference the distance around the outside of a circle is called the circumference next radius the radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the circumference and the diameter the diameter is the distance across the width of the circle through the center because why it is given through the center because a diameter always passes through the center so these are the definitions four most important definitions related to a circle okay next we will see the next thing what is a chord the c h o r d chord what is a chord here the definition is given a chord is a straight line segment with its end point on the circumference of a circle like if we draw a line from a to b this becomes a chord why at first it is a straight line segment it has two end points and both are lies on the circumference of the circle like this one sorry becomes a little more bigger this one is a chord why it is a chord because it is a line segment because it is a line segment it has two points and both the points are on the circumference of the circle so this one is a chord in this way you can draw infinite number of chords in a circle okay next we can say that diameter is the biggest chord diameter is the biggest chord why diameter is the biggest chord because the another chord that we will draw will of course be the smaller will be smaller than the diameter so always it is called that diameter is the biggest chord okay next thing that we will have to learn is the two another thing interior of the circle and exterior of the circle interior of the circle is very easy the inside portion of the circle is called the interior of the circle and the outside portion of a circle is called the exterior of a circle okay so this was uh, another thing next sector what is called a sector a circle sector is a fraction of the circle enclosed by two radii and an arc another time we will read the definition a circle sector is a fraction of the circle enclosed by two radii and an arc radii is the plural form of radius if we we'll draw one then it will be called as radius and if we draw two two three four then all will be radii and an arc okay so suppose we draw a circle here okay this one is the center now from the center if we we'll draw two radius and then the area this one is the area enclosed by two radii and a arc this one is called a arc like this one is a arc this one is a arc this one is also a arc so the area enclosed by two radii and an arc is called a sector okay like if you see this circle there are two radii this one this one so two radii and an arc enclosed by this area is enclosed by two radii and an arc so this is called a sector similarly if you see this circle then this radii and this radii and this arc enclosed a sector sorry enclosed a portion so this are the two sector now there are two sector one is minor sector and the another one is major sector the smaller area enclosed by a radii and an arc will be a 
minor sector and the greater area enclosed by two radii and an arc will be a major sector okay so these are the definitions and the points of the sector now the last portion the last thing is segment what is called a segment segment of a circle is the region bounded by a chord and its minor or major arc like if you see this circle this one is a chord and this one is a arc so this area will be a segment as this is the smaller arc this area will be called as small segment so the area segment of a circle is a region bounded by a chord and its major or minor arc so you can see here this one is a chord and this one is a arc as this area is smaller this se this segment is called minor segment and this arc is bigger so this area is called a major segment so today we have learned about many things what are those things we will again recall at first we have seen a circle then center of a circle the first thing then radius of a circle the second thing third diameter of the circle fourth circumference of the circle here we have seen different definitions fifth chord of a circle sixth sector of a circle and seven segment of a circle so what you have to do is after seeing the video you have to note down everything from this video to your maths copy so that it will be easy for you to later understand okay you will draw all the things all the definitions in your maths copy okay till then stay good stay happy thank you